Now look, I was never too close to my family. We are choppy. That's old news, I guess. I was more involved with hers than mine. And um, everyone dies. I've been dying in my nightmares, but I mean, when my grandfather died, it hit me the hardest. I don't even remember him yet. I'm still sad. It's like the effect he had on me. I'm 24. He died 20 years ago. I still carry around his picture in my wallet. But guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like he's the only person who ever really loved me. And that's not my reality. My reality is something else I don't want to talk about. Now, all my aunts are dying or drinking themselves to death. My grandparents are gone. My father is MIA in a different state with a whole new wife, and I have a half-brother that I'll probably never meet or talk to. These weekly dinners seem more like a chore than a family get-together. Just like when I was a kid, I used to isolate myself and sit in another room alone. But for some reason, this still sounds like cold soda in the fridge, icy pops in the freezer. None of my friends owned heaters, and we were all frequent backseaters. The only woman I had love for was my mama and the babysitter. Just picture like a hot summer's day where a cold breeze could bring life to a crowded backyard. So naive we would have thanked God. Staying up late, the next level was the only thing that we had up for steak. And my teeth work better, so believe me when I say I always had a full plate. Writing notes to girls, passing the time just to pass class. Never thirsty, but we always wanted a full glass. Funny thing is, all things come to pass, but... Just like past tense, it never really was past tense, and now my shoulders ache because my body spends so much time trying to look over them. Old enough to say back in the day, but it'll always be, it'll always be back in the day. Even right now, this shit sounds like home.